So we're going to start out AFC. I need two hot takes from you, Todd. Okay? Now I'm talking hot. If you don't give me what I consider hot, there are no hot kicks. There's consequences. Yeah, I just, you know, you got to go out. And, no, you know what? I'm, I got names in a hat here. I'm going to pick who goes first here. Paulie. Second. Fritzy. Third. Marvin. Seton, you'll go fourth. I'll go last. Paulie. AFC hot takes. Here we go. Russell Wilson of the Steelers. As opposed to? Yep. Russell Wilson will start a playoff game for the Steelers. Okay. My second hot take is Will Levis of the Titans will win the most improved player in the league award, if there is one, which I'm not sure there is. <laughs> I think there used to be, but if there was, he will bonus uh, take. You know what? He's going to be so improved, they're going to create the award. Correct. Bonus take with Will Levis. He'll lead the AFC in touchdowns and interceptions. Dang. That's pretty specific. That's big. That's called a hot take. Nicely done. That's a hot take. That's, time. Called a hot take. that's what it is. So that's the two in the AFC. Yeah. <laughs> Fritzy. Perhaps it's wishful thinking on my part, but Bo Nix, who wears number 10, leads the Broncos to 10 wins as Denver participates in a road wild card game. Everyone's oh, got wow. them over under like five and a half or six and a half wins. He gets them to double digit wins as a rookie. I think that's. Something. I'm going to say that's warm. Just one? It's like the same exact take he had this last year. I know. Year. You had him 9-7-1 in one last year, Todd. Yeah, but that was Russell Wilson, this veteran that won a Super Bowl with the Seahawks, almost won two in a row. This is a rookie Bo Nix. Okay. Don't know what to get. All right. What's your other one? After a bad week five loss at home to the Cowboys, Mike Tomlin benches Russell Wilson <laughs> for Justin Fields. That specific game. Okay. <laughs> Marvin? All right. So, Jeffrey Simmons. Of the Tennessee Titans will win Defensive Player of the Year. Okay. Okay. Got my attention. And then the New York Jets will go to the AFC Championship game. Okay. All right. Seton O'Connor. Joe Burrow will be your MVP. Okay. And the Colts will make the playoffs. All right. So mine in the AFC. No, I, I have to have hot takes here. Yes, you do. The Jets will go to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers will win MVP. Whoa. You just trumped Marvin. There. How about yeah, that? Take that, Marvin. How about that, Marvin? So they're going to win the AFC Championship game. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers MVP. Hot take. Time for the NFC. Paulie? Oh, man. I got a few. All right. Here we go. Kyler Murray, Dan, of the Cardinals, just to be specific. Kyler Murray of the Cardinals will start a playoff game. One of the worst teams in football last year. Kyler Murray started playing. All right, this one you're going to give me a little wiggle room with because this is going to extend into uh, January, February. The Dallas Cowboys will start 2025, the offseason, with no head coach and no quarterback under contract. Okay. That's, okay. That's good. That's warm. Todd? That's warm. The New York football giants were 6-11 in 2023. They finished third in their division and 13th in the conference. Daniel Jones and the G-Men will regress further, finishing no better than 4-12-1. There's your tiebreaker. Last in the NFC East, one of, if not the worst record in the conference in the entire league, and they will desperately miss the services of Saquon Barkley. 4-12-1, New York Giants. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know what the over-under is. It's probably five and a half wins for them, so you have them winning four. I don't think a lot of people think the Giants are going to have the worst or one of the two like worst records in all of the well, NFL. Well, I'd be curious what their over-under is with wins. It's probably five and a half. But I think people are looking at the Giants. I think the Giants will be a, a lot better than people think. I do. Uh, Marvin. Why, well, I got to do my – do I do a second? Uh, oh, you got another one. Got I'm another? sorry. That okay. one was so hot that I, I, I kind of <laughs> counted as two. All right. He rushed for 962 <laughs> yards with six TDs last season. He missed a couple games. But staying with the uh, Saquon Barkley theme, I say he will run for at least 1,500 yards and at least 10 touchdowns this season as a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. 1,510. The, the over-under, six and a half wins for the G-Men. <laughs> Marvin. All right. Sam Darnold will make the Pro Bowl. Ah, uh, game over. Wow. Jeez. Yep. And Raheem Morris will win NFL Coach of the Year. Dang. 
somebody's got Tampa Bay or Raheem Morris getting fired. That hey, the Atlanta Falcons, you like them? I like them. They went in the division. And oh, going- oh, who had Todd Bowles getting fired? Oh, Seton had Todd Bowles getting fired. Okay. Raheem Morris uh, with the Falcons. Okay, Seton. Uh, let's see. My NFC hot takes. The Dallas Cowboys will win Super Bowl 59. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, that's, that's me and Paulie are head-to-head. That is He's hot. got everybody getting fired. I have them winning. That's hot. Uh, and for bonus picks, I have them beating the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Your Cowboys? MVP, Joe Burrow. Cowboys, Bengals. Yeah. And then I have the Panthers will win the NFC South. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a big deal. The that... Panthers will win the NFC South. I have the Falcons going to the NFC title game. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. They will face. They, they will face the L.A. Rams in the NFC title. Game. Scalding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No way that happens. Thank you, Tom. All right. So, uh, what is the single hottest take of the past ten minutes? You have one that stands out. I, I got to tell you, Marvin putting Sam Darnold in the Pro Bowl yeah, that's, is pretty that's pretty, that's pretty extreme. Pretty warm. Panthers winning the division. I know it's a weak division, but Carolina that one's, that winning. That one's big. That, one, that, that one's big. Any other one that stood out there? Saquon Barkley, 1,500 yards and 10 touchdowns. Who said that? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you, that much of a leap? <laughs> That's you go from 962 crazy. yards to 1,500. That is crazy, Todd. <laughs> Roger said that. It's lunacy. Roger's Super Bowl MVP is pretty extreme call. Yeah. Like you pushed it. You yeah. didn't just say they'll make right. the. Jets, Super Bowl, Rodgers wins the MVP. Yeah. The Cowboys winning the Super Bowl is pretty out there, too. All right. So which who had the hottest take? Who gets to wear the hot take? I'm going to go Seaton. Yeah, Seton. Panthers winning the division oh, is yeah, pretty wild. Right. Seton's the hot taker. Seton, come over and get your hardware. It's the hot take. Yeah. Round of applause. Special day. Yes. Take necklace, chain, and it's all yours. Right here. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you. This really means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. mm. You're welcome. And that's how it's done. You guys supply the hot takes. I supply the hot cakes and the hot dogs. Teamwork. That was fun. Yes. Thank you, Todd. You're welcome.